confirmed a threat to U.S. soil, FEMA has ordered mandatory evacuations of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We have the location of the missiles. It's on you, Mitchell. Take them out. It all comes down to this. Let's get it done. Crosscom activated. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is 2019 DM here, and today we're going to play some Ghost Recon events for fighters. So let's get underway. So where we left off, we beat, uh, we killed Carlos, we saved the day, and it looks like uh, Mitchell is in trouble once again. So we're going to figure that out. So here we go. <laughs> so I think Mitchell got older. I don't know by how many years. We got to figure that out. So. Uh, I played it earlier just to get a, a feel of it, so we're just gonna have a new campaign. So, let's see. Yeah, sure, Rod 2. Why not? Yeah, we're right, so. Oh, man. Elevator risk allows you to play with ultra realistic level of difficulty and enemies shoot faster and aim. And aim for the head warning reserve for one trained players. Wow, okay, headshots. Allows you to play a realistic level for no assistance from the game. <laughs> or low risk. Low risk is designed for players trying tactical shooters for the first time. The game provides helpful assistance. Aim for the head. I don't know, if the controls are better, then I guess. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll play normal. We'll play normal. Captain Mitchell, sir, we all think you did a hell of a job down in Mexico City. You followed everything on the Narcom. How you saved President Valentine and then General Martin. Well, it looks like there's music here again, so let's see if I can try to turn down the music. That was still there. Our, our last try. I think I didn't play it. That's weird. There we go. Okay. Battle at Chapultepec Castle, and how you led our That's guys better. into Sokolo Plaza and took out the rebels. Well, I'm just honored to drive you, sir. And I'd be honored if you'd just keep your eyes on the road, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. We've got video incoming. Patching it through. And we now have confirmation that President Valentine has touched down in Washington. Both he and President Ruiz Peña insist the North American Joint Security Agreement will still be signed, despite yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico City that was finally put down with the help of U.S. forces. As for the recent outbreak of rebel activity in Honduras, Colombia, and Panama, unnamed U.S. sources now confirm their connection to yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico, raising concern that violence is spreading across the rest of Central America. Reporting live from Panama is Marco Zambrota. In the last 24 hours, the rebel forces here, led by Gabriel Alvaro, have essentially shut down the Panama Canal. U.S. forces have moved into the area amidst widespread reports that the rebels are looting ships and stealing their cargo. There are also rumors that sensitive military gear have been taken, though any connection between events here and in Mexico still remains unclear. Lieutenant Rosen is expecting you at Fort Bliss, Captain. I guess after what went down in Mexico City, it'll be time for a little R&R, &R, huh? Maybe for you, son. Something tells me I'm just getting started. Alright, so it looks like it's not even years, so it looks like it's next day. Damn, Captain. How the hell did you make it out of Mexico City? I know you probably want to hit the hay, but General Keating's got another situation going, one that requires the ghosts. So they've asked me to prep you for your next assignment using this battle simulator. Your performance during the simulation will be evaluated with a score given at the end of each phase, so try to treat this as a real combat situation, okay? To start, follow the instructions on your HUD. Okay. Well, at least the graphics look a little better. Alright, cool. 
nearly any other training day, so... Done. They were low. X? No. Scott, when you're on the battlefield, you must keep in mind that maintaining cover will often be the key to your survival. Therefore, you should always observe your surroundings and identify all cover positions available before advancing. Alright, that but man, it's kind of weird. I don't know, sometimes I gotta remember a lot of controls from different games. Yeah, I'm just trying to to change the auto select to like Outstanding, Captain. Captain, but you're not through yet. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna use that, uh, what is that, flare or something like that? It's like, it's like detect, like, deep vision. Careful, Scott. An enemy patrol has been spotted down the street to your left. Your mission is to neutralize it. Use the various covers around you to avoid being hit. So cool if uh, training simulations look like this, man. It's like realistic. <laughs> okay. Just hopefully, I can remember all the controls again. the end of this exercise. Now take a look at your performance for this section. Haha, -ha, challenge one complete. Okay. Okay, Captain, now you'll learn how to identify threats and neutralize them from a distance. For that, you'll use a rifle equipped with a scope. Go to the position indicated on your HUD to get your rifle. Alright. Yellow square. Yeah, I know that one. How do you zoom? There it is. I was looking for that. In urban environments, threats can come from anywhere. They could be lurking around a corner or waiting to prey upon you from a rooftop. Your scope will help you identify these threats. All right, what's the yellow square? Where's that yellow square? Let's go. It looks like it's not really good, Scott. Bad. Now take your time and stay focused. Okay, Scott. Hostiles have been spotted on the hillside due east of your 20. Reach their position and take them out. Stay frosty, Scott. Try not to be surprised by your enemies. Oh, last thing. You'll be scored on the headshots you make. Good luck. 
That was a headshot, I think, because it could have one hit. I don't know if that was a headshot header, right? We'll see. Oh, shit. the end of this exercise. Have a look at your performance for this section. I did well. Yep. Oh man. It was, it was all headshots besides the last one. <laughs> no, the first one I shot. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you'll be confronted by threats that you can't defeat directly. In this part of the simulation, we will look at stealth techniques for approaching a target without being shot. It's gas, right? When there's no cover nearby, you can use smoke grenades to hide your progression. That's gonna be a little hard to do. Captain, you will now have to approach and neutralize a hostile heavy armor piece. To do this, you'll have to move as close as you can and throw an explosive charge near the vehicle. Remember to use available cover and smoke grenades to avoid being hit. All right, fire it all. But since I have enough, I think I could just keep throwing them. Or not, never mind. Scott, that's it for this exercise. Now check out your performance. I can't throw it that far. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, here comes my squad, right? Hey, 
Captain, I need you to join your team in the truck. Let's go, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, rifleman, gunner, medic. Sure, why not? Because it doesn't really matter. This is a test after all. No night vision yet. Okay. Captain, this is your team. The screen on the left of your HUD is the new Crosscom command interface. It will allow you to give orders to your teammates and control such vehicles as drones, helicopters, and even heavy armored vehicles. Yeah, it should be the should be the same. Attack! Move. Take a look ahead. Moving to position. That's them. Move now. Moving, Captain. In position. Okay. Let's move. Move into position. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Move now. Move, Let's Captain. move. Moving to position. Regroup. Regrouping. Regroup. Regrouping. Yeah. Okay, well done. Your teammates are regrouping to your position. Follow it. Move. Moving now. Well done, Captain. For the next part, we'll work on advanced battle tactics. Your teammates can use two rules of engagement, recon and assault. Let's try these modes in a battle situation. No worries, Captain. We're right with you. Okay. Attack! Roger that. Aggressive. Let's go. Regroup. Regrouping. Move now. Moving now. Let's move. Over here. Moving move. to position. Moving now. Check up ahead for hostiles. Go quiet. Roger that. Move now. Moving to position. In position. Your teammates have spotted hostiles, but note that they are in recon mode, so they do not engage the enemy. As you can see, a stealthy approach gives your men the opportunity to get in close and take the first shot, giving them a huge advantage over their enemies. Take a look ahead. Sector clear. Fall back on me. Regroup. Understood. Fall back on me. Regroup. Understood. I think you're ready to use your team in a battle situation, so let's go. Okay. Secure the area indicated on your tactical map. An area is considered secured only when no enemies remain in the zone. Last thing. Since this exercise is for testing your command skills, do not use your own gun. Try letting your guys do the job. Boss, I see two of them. Check your West, fire! West. Uh, uh, Weapon free! Fire! Near the van! Move out! Moving! Roger! He's mine! One left! Move, move, move! Yeah, Check moving. your fire! Hold fire, roger! Uh. Let's go! Yeah, moving! Fire! 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 
Weapons free. Move Roger. Out. Yeah, moving. More of them. Let's move. Move. Moving now. Let's move. Moving to contact. I'm counting three. All right. You guys got that, right? Roger. White car near that white car. Reloading now. Too bad I can't really choose one. Kill oh. confirmed. Okay. Let's go. Move, 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 move. Go to that wall move over it. there. Let's go. Firing. Ramirez here. Tagged his ass. Okay. That's the end of this exercise. Let's check out your performance. Pretty good, but it was pretty slow. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could just, like, you know, shoot them. I think we just ran out Take of a look ahead. Earlier. In this section, we'll focus on how you communicate and deliver orders to your teammates. Quick responsiveness and team cohesions are keys to success on the battleground, and your time spent here will pay big dividends once the shooting starts. Yeah, sure thing. Let's move. Moving now. In position. Wait, wait, guys. I thought I told you guys. Move. Contact. Just stay there. Do it. Got a hostile vehicle over here, Captain. Northeast. In position. Okay. Tech. I guess I gotta just that. Affirmative. He's dead. Let's go. No. To me. Move out. Just stay there. Move just stay there. I just was hoping that. Just Roger that. Shoot the guy right there. Shoot him. He's dead. Roger that. Down the wall. I need some medical attention. Mitchell, one of your here. teammates is down. He will soon die unless you or a teammate heal him. And a word of advice? Be sure all opposition in the zone are neutralized before healing one of your men. Move. Move into position. Regroup. Regrouping. Move now. Moving now. Fall back on me. Regroup. Understood. Let's move. Move into position. Regroup. Regrouping. Yeah, heal me, okay. Lead the way, Captain. Move. I need a band-aid over here. Moving to position. All right. Captain, during your missions, you'll have numerous vehicles under your command. A UAV drone will be waiting for you at your next position. Move out. Oh, fantastic. Regroup. Regrouping. Yeah, look at the graphics list this guy. You'll now see how your cross-com interface can control the new UAV recon drone. This drone will help you locate enemies before they spot you. Yeah, I know.
The drone has detected a rebel soldier, but beware. The drone is within enemy range and can be shot down, so you may want to keep it at a safe altitude. But yeah, you can't keep it for long anyways. Scott, note that once the drone has marked a soldier, a red intel marker appears to indicate his position. These markers will remain on soldiers as long as the drone is in their vicinity, but be careful. If the drone leaves the area, the intel markers vanish. And remember, the go. more you use the drone to scan a threat, the more reliable data it will collect. All right, we're done. Okay, Scott, you did great. I think that about wraps up the battle sim. Finally. I've got General Keating standing by with a mission plan he's developing. He'll fill you in once you're back in the Blackhawk.